On August 24, 79 AD, the inhabitants of Pompeii were going about their daily lives, unaware that they were living their last hours. Earthquakes and tremors had been happening for days, but since Mount Vesuvius had not erupted in hundreds of years, people had become quite familiar with the quakes that happened in the region and, unfortunately, continued with their daily activities until one early afternoon the volcano eventually erupted. Now, after being entombed in ash for more than 1900 years, the unearthed victims of Pompeii have been brought to life with modern-day imaging technology, allowing us to learn from a civilization frozen in time. Pompeians were flash-heated to death. Until recently, the primary assumption was that victims had suffered from asphyxiation resulting from the deadly volcanic gases and ash. But a recent study by volcanologist Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo and his colleagues found that hundreds of fatalities occurred during the fourth pyroclastic surge, which was the first to reach Pompeii. They determined that the surge deposited much less ash than previously thought, about three centimeters, approximately one inch deep. However, the temperatures were at least 300 degrees Celsius, which killed people instantly. About three quarters of Pompeians were frozen in suspended actions. The people's poses reveal how they died, some trapped in buildings and others sheltering with family members. Children and adults have been found encased in ash, a plaster cast technique, and in one case, a resin cast has been used to preserve the details within the victim's ash tombs. Although the soft tissues decayed long ago, each skeleton remains in the void, so they are not statues or replicas, but actual corpses. The skeletons are still in there. Only 86 casts of victims exist out of the approximate 2,000 dead. Conditions for creating a cast are rare, which explains why they do not exist for all the remains found. Excavations are still occurring at Pompeii today but plaster damages the fragile remains of the corpses, so archaeologists are no longer producing casts of bodies. Not only were the positions of the victims captured, but their facial expressions showed the agonies of their deaths. One victim has his hands raised above his head in a protective gesture, a weak, reflexive attempt to stave off impending doom. Another's face is frozen in a perpetual scream, reflecting a perfectly preserved mouthful of teeth. Arms outstretched, a terrified mother and a child meet their deaths. One person is sitting with his hands covering his face as though accepting what is to come. Others are seen crawling as if trying to escape their inevitable fate. Meanwhile, some are found curled in the fetal position or hugging their loved ones in a tragic embrace. No one knows how they would spend these last minutes if faced with such a terrifying prospect. Yet for one person, there is much debate about his choice. He is found lying on his back, legs spread with his hand on his nether regions. So, although most of these unearthed victims reflect haunting depictions of how they face their final, horrifying moments of life, one victim may have chosen to go out in a very different fashion. The Shackled Slave Despite the many excavations of Pompeii, the dark history of slaves is still somewhat elusive. All that is known was obtained from the paintings, frescoes and mosaics that were found with the cast of one victim. However, it is clear that slavery was commonplace in Pompeii. Whether servants, concubines or sex workers, many slaves existed in their society. As in other societies, slaves were property and owners could do with them as they chose. Slaves had a variety of duties. However, one of the more interesting was the collection and use of urine as a cleansing agent. Slaves took stored urine to the area where they laundered clothes. They would climb into tubs filled with collected urine, water and dirty clothes. Then they would stomp around, similar to the action of stomping grapes or wine. This is how slaves cleaned their clothes. 
Of course, the saddest image of slavery that was unearthed during excavations was in the slave prison. As Mount Vesuvius destroyed Pompeii, the shackled slave was unable to escape. He was found lying face down with his shackles still around his ankles. Pompeians had great teeth. Recent scans reveal that the people of Pompeii had surprisingly great pearly whites for the era, which is indicative of remarkably good health. 79 AD was not a time known for proper dental care, yet the dentition for the citizens of Pompeii was far above average. Researchers indicate that the Pompeians' teeth were in many respects better than ours are today, due to their high in fruits and vegetables and low in sugars diet. Also, the city had sources of fluorine in the air and water near the volcano. And those were some of the interesting facts about the people of Pompeii. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next video.